Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna make one of our go-to recipes, egg salad. And we're gonna start this recipe because I'm ready to eat right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to make one of our go-to recipes. We eat this at least two or three times a week now. And you know why? Why? Because we think it's excellent. <laughs> excellent. This is just one of those recipes that is super easy to make. It's got great keto macros. It's really flavorful and you can whip it up in a pinch. This is one of those videos I know that like Chris from Keto Chow would be like, why are you making a video? For yeah, this? I know when we put this up, he's going to get me back for all the ones that I tease him on and be like, I cannot believe you made a video on how to make egg salad. Super easy. But me, I never liked egg salad before and I started adding different ingredients because it is really great on keto because you're increasing fat with mayonnaise and stuff. And I started just putting together some like ingredients and I'm like, this makes it taste really good. And now I love it. It's like loaded egg salad. Yeah. So are you ready to get into this? Yes. Okay. So by the way, this is another recipe that is so, so easy, easy, even, even Rachel, Rachel can, can make it. it. So, okay. So here's obviously the first thing we're going to need is some eggs. Obviously. Now we keep some um, hard boiled eggs always ready in the house. Nelly's eggs. Nelly's. So we use Nelly's. Usually we're using the better ones, the Vital Farms, but Nelly's were actually recently on sale for by us for two dollars fifty cents a dozen. So we bought like twelve dozen eggs. We are typically not brand loyal. No, whichever one is on sale is what we're using. But we do use pasture raised free range eggs. We always try to go that way. They just taste better, it's especially so something like this. Good, yes. Yeah. So if you want to know how we hard boil our eggs, we put them uh, in our one of our vlogs. But basically, we do a two minute cook in our pressure cooker with a five minute slow release and then an ice bath and they peel perfect. We pre-peel them, store them in one of these containers, which you get these from the dollar store or something like that, I right? Do. Well, or you can get them from Walmart. Yeah, but this the, one particular screw, works great. The screw top lid. This it's, is Ziploc. This is a fancy brand. That's the only time I use these containers. So we're gonna use three eggs. Then we're gonna use one stalk of celery, and I've got everything already pre-prepared for us to make it easier. I love this. Okay, so then, Next thing we're gonna use is an optional ingredient, and sometimes I add this, sometimes I don't. It depends on if we have it laying around. I left you alone with QVC again. Yeah, you left me alone. These are awesome. I ended up buying, what, 18 of them? Because, but these all, they don't go inside of each other. We got these, and they just stack up, and then you store the lids like in a pile. Turn my back for a but second. But these are the best thing for meal prepping because it they is. were all exactly the same size. They're perfect. So anyway, Bacon, we went off on a tangent. So sometimes I like to pre-cook bacon, not so much for like bacon and eggs, but for things like this, where I wanna chop it up, like having bacon bits, but it's a little bit easier to do it this way. And I gotta tell you, you can use any bacon, but I like the thicker cut bacon for this. Yeah, and we get this from like Lucky's or Whole Foods or something like that, the, the, the stuff right off of the butcher's counter. Oh my goodness, the, the Lucky's Paleo bacon? Yeah. Change your day. So one, one slice of that. Then we're gonna go with some mayonnaise. I made this. Yep, we use avocado oil mayonnaise. Um, if you've not seen that video, we have a recipe video right here. There's also a link down below for our recipe. It is really easy to make. Rachel even made it in one of our vlogs. It takes 30 seconds to make. You'll never ever buy mayonnaise again if you go watch that. And it's that. so good. Okay, then we're gonna have some salt. I've got, um, it's to taste. I've got a half a teaspoon here. How cute. And then this is the ingredient that I think changes it. And that is everything but the bagel seasoning. And you can get that at a lot of places, like Trader Joe's sells them. Um... That's where we first found it was Trader Joe's, but now Costco is carrying it. Yeah. So we, yeah, we got this entire thing, it was like four bucks in Costco. And, and I, I love the smell of this stuff. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so, so easy Rachel can do it. We've got our overhead camera, hopefully it's working. So we're gonna go three eggs, Rachel. All right, we need to chop them up. Just throw them in the bowl. I know you're always asking me, like, how am I doing this so quick? You're about to learn. All right. You ready? Here is the secret tool for making egg salad perfect every single time. Okay. 
a potato masher. Nuh-uh. That's how we do this. What? Okay. Now, we obviously don't make mashed potatoes anymore. Yeah, so you're like, what am I But it this works thing? great for this. I almost threw it out. Now, all I want you to do is press down on the eggs a couple times and wait until you see what this does. Oh, my gosh. It's like cubanum. Oh, my goodness. No so wonder it's so fast. Just make sure so you fast. get all your whites, you know, chopped up. Yeah. Look at that. That's Don't mix it too much. I like the egg yolk kind of like in chunks. I think you're good there. What was Ooh. that? I'm sending it all over the place. That okay. was fast. So that's fast, right? No chopping it up with a knife, anything like that. I love it. Next, you're going to get your uh, avocado oil mayonnaise. Dun, 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 dun. I made this. Two tablespoons. And it, it you know, it, you don't have to use your finger. Yeah, there you go. I love this stuff. We can barely keep it in stock here at our grocery store. Well, here we make it probably two, three times a week. We just go through and again, it takes 30 seconds to and make. And the kids love it too. Okay, so then we're gonna go celery. A half of a stock to a full stock, depending on how big the stock is. But And I like to chop it up really finely. Yep. Since we have it made, we're gonna go with our bacon. This is bacon. one strip of bacon. Okay. Oops, salt. Salt to taste. Um, I'm gonna use about a half a teaspoon of salt. Mm. Oop. Get it all out. And then finally, we're gonna go everything but the bagel seasoning. I don't really measure this out. I kind of just give it a nice little sprinkle in there. So it's kind of like whatever you want. That's probably about perfect. Probably about perfect. That describes me. Probably. <laughs> Go ahead perfect. and mix it up. Oh, sorry. Not I'll used to this, this guy yet. Anyway. I actually like a few little larger than normal sized whites in there because then all of a sudden it's like you get a little surprise yep. when you're eating. I think you're done already. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? You're done. Okay. Okay, so move that to the side. We'll put this here. And this is how we like to eat it. We got some lettuce here. We get this nice spring mix from like Costco, Aldi's, any of those places. Costco. Less than four bucks. Do a nice... Look how pretty. And then we'll pretty it up here. Please do. You want to get rid of that? Wow. I should get some forks. That makes a nice, healthy serving. And this is one serving. This is one serving. This is okay. a Rachel size serving. So this is what we got. So before you even taste this, you wanna go over the nutrition on this? Cause this is lunch. Man, I don't wanna, I, I, I just wanna eat it. Let's go over the nutrition on this, okay? This serving, mm -hmm. not counting the lettuce, obviously. Right. 515 calories. Which sounds a little scary. It sounds a little scary, but I mean, if you're eating 1,500 calories in the day, there's a meal. Yeah, and right? that's a good size and one. And then if your breakfast is usually like a fat coffee, which is usually what, two or 300 calories, mm -hmm. you've still got a decent amount of macros left over for your dinner. Well, this is so quick yep. that you could make it for breakfast if you wanted to. Yeah, so 515 calories, 46 grams of fat. What? Yeah. Wow. You ready? 2.3 grams, uh, 23, 2.3, 23 grams of protein. I was gonna say, what happened to these eggs? 1.2 total carbs. Are you serious? Yeah. And then we got 0.6 grams of fiber. No. uh Yep. And that's gonna make it 0.35 net carb. So like not even a carb. It's basically according to any nutrition label, zero net carbs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? And even you know, the bottom line is you're looking at one carb and the carb, by the way, is coming from the celery. Which is exactly what you would want it to come from. Right. Like vegetables, fiber. Yep. So are you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. Wow. Is that good? I like getting the crunch in it because sometimes eggs can be off-putting just because there's no crunch. You just got this one, you know, texture all right. throughout. 
So having the, the crunch from the celery and the bacon, I mean, it just adds a lot. And then that everything bagel. The everything but the bagel seasoning, I believe completely changes this. Yeah. I do too. And again, the bacon, it's optional. I've only recently started adding the bacon because I happen to have some. I'm like, oh, I wonder what that tastes like with the bacon. Better. The other seasoning I like to add to it sometimes is the Creole seasoning. Oh, yeah. It gives it a little bit of a spice. Perfect. But here's why I like this. Obviously, super easy to make. Yes. Really great keto macros. It is an 80% fat meal. It's so if you're looking very to, hard to do better get your fats in, here you go. It's delicious. It's got a nice texture on it. Put it on a nice bed of lettuce like this. It's perfect. It is. It becomes the dressing for the lettuce. Yeah. So that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you make this. And also, let us know what other seasonings you would add to it. Yeah, because I also like the chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's. Yes, that one works really well with this. It's really good. So, uh, like I said, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.